and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a speaker icon. You can do so with basic shapes. Let us first create a triangle with the star tool. Make sure it's three corners and the spoke ratio is to 0 0.5. I hold control when I drag that. I go to object, fill in stroke and I get rid of the stroke paint with the X right here. Color doesn't really play a role here but I'll make it black. I click on it again with the cursor tool and I hold control when I rotate it. Let me size that up a little bit. I hold control and shift when I do so. Now we go to object, oh I'm sorry, now we go to path and path effects. Click on the plus sign, use the corners. Radius, I don't know, 50 should be a little bit too high here. It depends on the size of a triangle. 30 is fine for me here. So it has given us these rounded corners. Now I'll drag a rectangle on top. Let me give that a different color so that you can see it's on top of the triangle. This is important. Select it both, go to path, and then difference. But that was a little bit too much. Let me press Ctrl Z. I reposition the right angle a little bit to the left. Select it again. Path difference. That's better. Once again, I need the right angle tool and I drag a second right angle. This time I'll make it black. And I reposition that a little bit to the left. I size it down slightly. And I think that the curvature is a little bit too big. So these rounded corners. Let me zoom in. I use the notes tool and I drag this circle upwards. Now I need to align it. So select it all, object, align and distribute. And make sure it's on the same horizontal axis. Next step, let us use the Bezier tool. I click, I hold control, go downwards, click again, and then I drag. I still hold control, I have this 45 degree angle, and that should be fine. Let me close this window for now, select this arc, go to object, fill in stroke, stroke style, maybe 20 is a good width. And we need a round cap to give it rounded corners. And let me go down to 15 with the width here. Once again, the value depends on the size of your icon. Press Ctrl D to copy it. Copy it two times. When you size it down, hold Ctrl and Shift and make sure that you put in 15 as a width. So the width is being resized as I resize these objects. You need to manually readjust that. It looks fine. I shift click on these three elements, then object, align, and distribute. And this time I want to distribute it in the horizontal line. So I need this icon you've seen, the one in the middle, has been repositioned. You can now select it all, go to object and group. And this is how you can create a speaker icon in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.